Hello everybody and welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today and today I've got a ship review for this premium tier 5 Italian heavy cruiser the Genova. And uh, before I start the review there's a couple of things I have to say. One, uh, the ship was provided by Wargaming to me at no cost for review purposes. The opinions of the ship are entirely my own and do not reflect anything uh, from the World of Warships team. And second, typically once a review video like this comes out, I do have to of course submit it for approval, but so far, you know, I've gotten all of them approved, I am allowed to give one of these away. So giveaways will happen on my Discord server in the hashtag giveaways channel. So, you know, if you want the Discord invite link, it's in the video description below. So on to the actual ship review itself. Genova. If you want the five second, too long, didn't watch the rest of the video version, she is garbage. So such a garbage ship. Like, I think right now this thing and Yahagi are like, they're pretty much in competition right now. Okay, maybe Yahagi's a little bit worse. Yeah, anyways, you'll see. You'll see what I'm getting at. So let's talk about the uh, redeeming features of the ship. What makes Genova good? Well, um, she's got three things going for her. One, her torpedoes reload really quickly. If you spec into it, 42.3 seconds. Yeah, good torpedo reload. Her speed. With a speed flag, 36.2 knots. She's a fast ship. Detectability range by sea. Fully spec for concealment, 10.3. And she is stealthy. That's it. That's like all the good stuff about the ship. Here's all the bad things. Let's, let's start with uh, armor layout, right? Because that's always fun. So, um, <clears throat> ready for this? This yellow thing is our Citadel. It is very much above the water. So if you can see the water, there it is. It's very much above the water, and it is a very long Citadel. Yeah, get ready. Battleships look at you the wrong way. You're going to get blapped. Period. <laughs> oh, and unlike the other Italian heavy cruisers, which have the fuel smoke... Genova, no such luck. You don't get a get out of jail free card. If you have to turn away, get ready to die. That's yeah. <laughs> the armor is um yeah. Get ready for that. Anyways, um, you do have a decent amount of HP, but again, like I said, if you get Citadel, it doesn't really matter. Battleship can wipe you out in one salvo. So yeah, you got some HP. Too bad your Citadel is giant. And easy to hit and not that hard to penetrate either because seriously 70 millimeters if i remember correctly the emeralds main citadel belt is like 76. anyhow moving on um main guns oh yeah here's the other thing take a look at that reload time if you're looking at that and you're wondering am i seeing things right yes you are 20 freaking seconds for a reload. This is the most uh, part about the ship. I mean, I've played a decent number of games with her. I think I've played like 22 or 23 battles with her, and this thing, the reload time, is what drives me up a wall. Normal heavy cruisers, battleship gets one salvo, you get two salvos. This thing, you get one salvo, battleship gets one. Hmm. Yeah, and by the time you reload, you fire. And then within like a couple more seconds, the battleship has a salvo ready to go. If you run into something with a fast reloader, like let's say tier seven, you run to Sharnhorst, oh boy, are you in for some pain. Um, the reload time sucks big time. She does have SAP shells. That's like an Italian thing. So SAP shells, they work as sort of like a weird combination of armor piercing and HE shells. So if you pass the auto bounce check and everything, then it very simply does uh, how thick is your armor, how much penetration can this SAP shell go through, you know, penetrate, no penetration. So SAP on this ship goes through 54 millimeters of armor, which is okay, it's not too bad. The auto bounce angle starts at 65 and I believe ends at 80 for all the 203 millimeter Italian heavy cruisers. So you do have to worry about that because you can't overmatch a lot of stuff, so go through an auto bounce check. So tip. Typically speaking, when enemy ships start to realize that you're shooting at them, they can just turn their bow sort of towards you and then you don't have much other options. You know, pretty much go stealth, reposition, and try again. Yeah. 
She has AP, but again, most of the time you're probably using your SAP. On some occasions, you might use your AP. Ballistically speaking, the guns aren't bad, but again, you know, not having dots, not being able to do that, and the fact that you have a, you know, sort of an auto bounce range that, yes, is better than anything else right now, but still, I mean, your damage output really just doesn't, it just doesn't get to that level, unfortunately. Like, I've tried and tried and tried and tried, and so far, I think... 70k games are like wow is amazing you know a lot of games are in that 40k range and you're pretty happy at 40k with these things so ugh. okay um what else oh yeah right 14.3 kilometer range so you've got the giant citadel you've got 14.3 kilometer range that's pretty painful <laughs> and um yeah that's it's just like her her main guns are things are just gonna aggravate you Moving on, right, I did mention the torpedoes. Well, the reload time is beautiful on the torpedoes, 42.3 seconds if you spec with uh, torpedo armament expertise. Torpedo range is not bad, 8 kilometers. Sea detectability is good at 1 kilometer. Damage is yeah, kind of poor, 9,067 per torpedo, so... You know, oh yeah, the torpedoes also only go 51 knots, so you're basically the equivalent of launching sea mines. Now, occasionally they hit stuff, but... Oh, well, they're sea mines, you know, they're, they're just really slow. Um, you hit people because they're not expecting it, I guess, is, is the way to go. But, hey, at least the reload time is good. You can kind of dump one set, dump the other set, turn back around, dump another set kind of thing. You can do that. A defense. It's Italian. Do, do, do you seriously expect A defense? <laughs> She's got some damage, okay, some. Like, you know, 67 continuous DPS. For long range out to four kilometer mid range is 25 dps so it's like okay you got some a dps most cvs when they figure out your weaknesses are going to come after you i've had games where cvs have just been like no you die i'm going to come after you like all the time because you can't defend yourself really like yeah you'll, you'll shoot down the occasional plane here or there but that's about it maneuverability like i said 36.2 knots like that's the best part of the ship she's fast turning circle radius 660 meters that's not bad but oh yeah do keep in mind your ship is longer than some of the battleships in the game. Like, no joke, you go up to some of the battleships and you're like longer than they are. It's, it's insane how long the ship is. Rudder shift time, 8.6 seconds. All right, fine. Detectability range by sea, hey, 10.3. That's like one of the few good things. But then again, you notice you got 10.3 kilometer detectability, 14.3 kilometer main battery firing range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving on to the modules. So consumable wise, hey, you got damage control party too, and uh, you got a choice. Take fighter, take spotting aircraft. Now, spotting aircraft is useful because it does increase your range. It, it really does increase your range, right? Because you've only got 14.3. So that does allow you to shoot at stuff a little bit further away. That's not bad. But then again, the cooldown time for the consumable is 240 seconds. Ugh. Well, you're not using that many scout planes in the span of one game. So you can choose one or the other, right? I've played with uh, both, and they're both viable. Um, other than that, let's see here. Well, you've got three slots for actual upgrades. I would just simply recommend taking things like Main Armin's Mod 1, Damage Control Systems Mod 1, and Aiming Systems Mod 1. You could also take Steering Gears. You could. Um, that's another one of those things you can do. Captain Build. Uh... Ooh, actually ignore my current captain build. I was just uh, <laughs> I was messing around with this just because I wanted some little bit more reload time. But I would definitely recommend you can give up, you know, either one of these two, either expert marksman or adrenaline rush, and take last stand. Rudder on the ship gets knocked out a lot, so you might want to sacrifice one of those two pointers to get that. Other than that, um, superintendent not useful on this ship, but hey, useful on the other cruisers so if you're training an italian captain for other cruisers superintendent is something you probably want to grab concealment expert again this is a very important skill and then fire prevention maybe torpedo armament expertise could be useful for those torpedoes um you know you could also take other things i guess there's like kind of other variable choices that you can make you can always do things like uh, i don't know probably do jack of all trades maybe uh, again this is for preparation for the other cruisers Torpedo acceleration also for other cruisers, you know, like the captain build for this ship is not for the ship at all It's actually just for other cruisers Anyways, that's all I can tell you from the port view Let's show you what I mean when I say this ship is just garbage in battle so start of the game and 
Just got out of the spawn point, and here come the enemy CV. Woohoo! Get my sector reinforced, but there comes the first clap of the day. 3,000 HP gone. Of course, that's HP I can't get back. By the way, Genova, honestly, in my opinion, she's missing a consumable because she doesn't have that fuel smoke that the other Italian ships get. So it's tough. It really is tough. Now you might be wondering, actually you might be saying that I shouldn't have done that, I should have stayed bow in, I should have, you know, continued to go forward. Only reason why I actually try to, you know, turn away is because if you close the range too much and you're spotted and a battleship decides, hey, I'm just gonna take a pot shot at you, there's a good chance you could have lost a huge chunk of your HP. Take my chances with the rockets. <laughs> Um, another thing, of course, is that with the Genova, because she's got SAP shells, the way you aim with her is a little bit different. So you're trying to target upper belt. You're trying to target areas like the bow, the stern, those kind of areas, areas where your shells will actually penetrate. So yeah, she aims in a slightly different manner. And of course, Ranger's coming in again. Oh, come on. I'm at least getting some A support this time, so that's good. This turned out to be a widespread, so hooray. Yeah, but you know, I'm taking some damage already. That's okay. Actually, I don't mind taking a little bit of damage as long as I can survive enough. And the reason why I say that, and this might sound absolutely sad, is because I want slightly faster reload. That's it. Like, sometimes I'm willing to take a little bit of early game damage as long as not like a Citadel or anything like that, because I want slightly faster reload. Whoa. <laughs> ah, all right. And there's the Duca again. Okay, this Duca is close, like 7k, 8k. All right, so this Duca Dallas does close. Hopefully, he's going to come out and be able to shoot him with SAP again. Come on now. Oh. Okay, come on. I know he's going to come out here. There he is. Okay, aim a little high. Fire salvo. And. Hey, 2400 damage. Okay, so I got three penetrations, 2,400 damage. Hmm, okay. Not the best damage there, but all right, hey, at least it's something, right? I'm going to start shooting at the West Virginia. Again, you'll notice that I'm trying to shoot into the upper belt area. Again, that's where you are going to get damage. Upper belt, um, that was a little bit not the best lead. Got to lead a little bit more. Two penetrations, 1,600 damage. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, the wonders of the SAP shells, um, you know, if I was reloading every 15 seconds, wouldn't be as painful. Reloading every 20, you know, that's a little on the painful side. Yeah, you know, one of my analogies today, okay, this is a little 18 plus rated, not really, you know, but one of my analogies is that this is one of those things where you try so darn hard and you put in so much effort for so little reward and you get so frustrated it is the reason i think why uh some people in real life will eventually seek out uh, medication to assist them with uh you know certain tasks because that yeah it's pretty close it's that level of frustration that you'll experience because Again, it takes you forever to get a salvo off, but dear lord, you don't ever really get the reward. And so you just keep trying and trying and trying and trying. Oh, that's painful. Okay. Come on now. Really trying to get that superstructure area. Superstructure. Okay. A little bit more. Just a little bit more now. Come on. Okay. Leading a little bit more here. Okay, come on. You'll see occasionally a salvo where I'm able to land the shells and the damage is like, oh yay, it's it's something. 2,400 on three penetrations. Oh, come on. There's got to be one salvo in here where I'm going to look at the damage and be like, that's nice. <laughs> see, with the advantage of like a lot of the other ships that have HE, you know, it's like you can at least get, you know, dots even if you don't penetrate. With SAP, you really have to penetrate in order to get damage, and so that's why it's like giving them the auto bounce angles. It's just 
not really super fond of that you know really wish they'd given these ships just a little bit more leeway there you go finally six penetrations for 5300 damage <laughs> uh, i'm trying i'm trying really really hard <laughs> Uh, that's the thing, you know, when when I was playing Genova, that's all it felt like. And it didn't really matter what tier you played in, you know, tier 5 was the same trying really hard as playing tier 7. Um, you know, in terms of performance, was also reasonably similar in terms of damage numbers. It almost didn't matter if I was in tier 5. One of the things, by the way, that will drive you a little crazy is that when you run some of the tier 5 battleships, they do have that really like thick casement armor, which, you know, negates your damage. It's just like, what? 4 penetrations, 2,800 damage. Oh yeah, one of the other things, and the reason why the damage drops off so quickly as well, is that the moment that an area becomes damaged, uh, damaged the state of what you see, it's like it's kind of black or whatever, then your damage goes from... I underled that one, by the way. Uh, should have led higher for that salvo. Again, see, sometimes like it, you gotta train your brain to stop thinking of it. You know, it's sort of like armor piercing. You gotta lead a little bit higher because it's it's SAP. Anyway, um, going back to what I was saying, the minute that you see an area become sort of like blacked out, the damage drops off by another half essentially because you go from doing one third damage to one sixth damage. So, the minute an area sort of saturates like that your damage drops off like significantly so pff, yeah it's painful it really is painful come on now okay planes are coming back in again all right luckily this time nowhere near me so i'm just trying to get stuff in range that i can shoot at that i can get some decent damage out of okay this time the carrier is moving now with the sap shells there is something to be said that when you do shoot at carriers if the carriers have light enough armor you actually can get citadels and so especially if you happen to run into like a tier 4 game where you're running into like Hoshos and Langley's and things like that you can use SAP to go for citadels that's one of the things that this thing is capable of doing it can get those now again is an issue of sort of reliability you know getting it reliably enough and that's kind of a bit of a mixed bag sometimes you you do hit the right spots and sometimes you don't again my own personal preference is I much still prefer armor piercing, but not on this ship. <laughs> Just other ships, like battleships or whatever, still armor piercing is probably the way to go. Genova, I do use AP. And I do have to say, I do on occasion use armor piercing. When do I use it? When I run into situations like this, where I see something like a Fiji or a cruiser and it's giving me a broadside. You know, you do have 203 millimeter guns, so, you know, they do have some degree of penetration so you can occasionally switch to them are you going to be doing it all the time probably not but on occasion you will oh crap i think that's a fiji salvo yeah ow 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 ow, ow. that was my bad gave it just a little bit too much side fiji chunked me for 9k ow that's that's painful gotta get a little bit more angled that was my bad um, I actually was tempted for a second to salvo that destroyer if nobody killed him, but Okay, somebody got him Trying to close the distance on the Fiji some more again hoping to get that one good salvo off Come on. By the way this damage number right now 32,000 is Yeah, you did you definitely do see it like I've actually had situations where I gotta say with the Genova with guns alone without getting torpedo hits without just guns alone it's actually kind of hard to get those high damage numbers. It really is. She just doesn't really have that damage output with the guns. And again, no dots to help you. Okay, this salvo is going to be nice. Yes, it is. 11,000, finally. You know, hey, look, the one good salvo is with AP. <laughs> All right, come on now. Yeah, the gun's reloaded. Oof, takes a very long time. Thank goodness I'm down to very low HP now, so, you know, reloading faster than the normal. All right, there we go. And now back to SAP again. No, come on. That Duca's low, 4,000. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe 3,000. Okay, 3,400. I'm going to try a kind of a hard shot here through the gap here and go okay let's track these shells 
see what's going on. Okay, a couple of them get blocked, and bang! You see I connected at the section that wasn't blacked out, so I was able to get good damage there. Not only three shells, but if that section was blacked out, then not so great again. All right, is the CV now not moving? Hmm. Okay, no, it's starting to move again, damn it. Uh, okay, frustration. <laughs> Frustration. All right, all right. It's moving now. It's moving. All right. There you go. Another salvo out. And come on now. These are going to connect. Here we go. Connected. That's not bad for an SCP salvo. That's not bad at all. All right. And of course, out of range again because you've only got 14.3 kilometer range. It's, it's the painful part of the ship, okay? You just don't have a lot of range. There's a Nagato over there, okay? Nagato is 11 kilometers away from me, so I'm going to go out and I'm going to engage. All right, now, come on. Give me something good to shoot at here, Nagato. That Bertang's there too. you got to keep an eye on all the battleships when you're playing Genova. You really have to be very careful about like where the battleships and where their guns are pointed. I know the Bertang didn't have, really have guns in my direction, that's why I decided to go out. And holy moly, there's finally those like amazing SAP salvos which you get every like blue moon, 7,900 damage. That was a really good salvo. Hurrah, all right. Hey, I'm almost 60k damage on the ship. Yeah, 2,400 damage. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Ranger's running away from me again. I've actually got to start turning because Bretagne, that's dangerous right there. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna try to get like one salvo. This is a really hasty salvo here because I'm really having to pay attention to that Bretagne. Gotta turn away here because I'm not sure if the Bretagne's got guns on me by now. Probably should, considering I shot at him. And oh yeah, here we go. I got 3,000 HP, and this is when you begin to like clinch that sphincter a little bit <laughs> oh there come the bb shells oh come on 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 <laughs> oh man oh just when i thought oh man i dodged that oh there's more there's more there's more <laughs> and you're like because any one of those shells can just end you like immediately oh, okay oh my god <sighs> all right now I gotta turn back around, come on, turn me back around so I can maybe get some more damage here on this Bretagne, come on, Salvo! Maybe someone else is gonna end the Bretagne before my shells get there. Oh yeah, not much HP there, okay yeah, Bretagne's gone, alright. Whew, alright, and uh, yep, we're almost close to winning there, CV is uh, way in the back, way outside my range, no way for me to really get him now, even though I do have my scale plane up, but uh, oof. And that's pretty much, by the way, the standard experience in playing Genova. <laughs> I kid you not, this is like the standard gameplay experience when you're playing the ship. She's kind of, uh, yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> She's a pretty bad ship. So there we go. Game's over. Uh, take a look at the end result screen. And yeah. Ugh. I mean, the only reason I think you'd even get the ship is maybe as like a captain trainer, but like anything else, just I wouldn't recommend. Not a good ship at all. 62,884 damage, just one of my better games of the day. Got two kills, you know. 1,539 base experience. I'll, I'll totally take that. I mean, I know the whole head way more than me. I know. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Um, yeah, there's my damage overall. 48,000 with SAP, 14k with AP. Oof, 23,000 damage from AP, ouch, right? Uh, credits are on 202,069. All in all, my opinion is pass. Do not get the ship. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, folks, take care. Have yourselves a really good one. And I'll talk to all of you again really, really soon.